Today, we are going to be ranking these jailbreak vehicles you see right here. Little disclaimer before we begin, this is just my opinions. Your opinions may vary. I will link this tier list down in the description below, as well as check out the Queen Discord, where in a future upcoming video, I will be looking at tier this tier list. You guys are going to make your own tier list, and I will react to them myself personally. So join the Discord, linked in the description below. Should be under contest announcements and you can follow the instructions from there and let's get into the tier list starting off with the ufo the ufo is actually a decent vehicle i'm not i'm not really a fan of it it spawns in a really remote location for the money i, I hardly see any people use the ufo it's got two seats and for five hundred thousand eh, dollars it's meh gotta give it a c now the ambulance all right the ambulance has a unique feature to heal players but the problem with this feat the problem i see with the ambulance is that they're i don't i hardly see people using it like it, it has a unique feature on it but it's not very it's not really fast for the price and they're just better vehicles out there so yeah i'm gonna give the ambulance a seat all right this is our first automatic f the atv okay the atv used to be good back then when before they made all those balancing changes to the atv it was very glitchy vehicle but it was good the problem with the atv now is that it is slower than the Camaro, I believe, from what I remember. So, if you're slower than the Camaro and you cost money, I gotta give you an F. <laughs> Alright, the Arachnid. The Arachnid is an interesting vehicle. First of all, $750,000 limited edition vehicle, aka the Batmobile. Uh, I don't know what to give this. I, I think... Uh, I have to give the Arachnid a D. For, for the money, it's not worth it. There's some vehicles that cost under $100,000 that I know are faster than this vehicle. And for that, I, I gotta give the vehicle a D. I guess it's a cool it's a cool vehicle to play around with if you want to impersonate Batman for a day, but... <laughs> the dirt bike. I gotta... Uh, I'm I'm gonna give it a D. The reason why I'm gonna give the dirt bike a D is because it, it, it's... They're, they're just better vehicles out there. The dirt bike used to be fun back when it came out, but... The dirt bike can't fly with rocket fuel. It, it, I don't know if it even works with rocket fuel. And overall, it's times have changed on jailbreak. I, I, I've got to give the dirt bike a D. <laughs> the classic car. The classic car for 15... I think it's $50,000 for the classic car. I think I got to give the classic car uh, maybe a C. It's... It spawns in a convenient place that there are cops at the museum, but I gotta give it a D since it only seats one person. It's it go it's it's a little faster than the Camaro, but for fifty thousand dollars, I believe there's a vehicle that costs a little bit more that is way better. All right, the Wraith. The Wraith for a Game Pass car, it's it's decent. Honestly, for the Crime Boss Game Pass, it's a free car. It's a cool car. It's got a minigun. That that's a unique feature. I apologize for the background noise. Let me fix that really quickly. You you guys are ruining a good video. You guys are ruining a good video. I gotta block off the sound as much as I can. Don't make too much noise. Go outside. I, I don't want your background noise. Honestly, I believe the Wraith. Uh, for a Game Pass car. I think I gotta give it a B. It's it, it's not the greatest. It's got a minigun. It's pretty unique. I would say it's pretty decent. It's good at off-roading, so it's a little bit above average. I'll give the Wraith a B. And the vehicle is technically free. All right, the Chiron. Oh boy, this is gonna be interesting. The Chiron for five hundred thousand dollars. It replaced the Veyron and. The Chiron, I got most, mostly positive things to say about it. I don't know if I can give this vehicle an S, because it's really fast. I don't know. I think I gotta give the Chiron an S. It's really fast. It's re it's a really cool looking car. Very tractable. I see a lot of people use the Chiron. I would say it's just simply because it's really fast. I gotta put it up there. Right, we got the Challenger. Where should we put the Challenger? For a $60,000 vehicle. That is insane. The, the Challenger for the money is faster than some vehicles that cost like more than quadruple this vehicle. The Challenger is like, it, it's, it's extremely good for the money. I really want to give this vehicle an S rank, but I think I just got to give it an A. Still pretty good score for the Challenger. Simply because this vehicle only has two seats, but you can't complain for a $60,000 vehicle. Because I see four seats, but you can only see two, but you, you really can't complain. And next up, we got the R8. Uh, I gotta give the... Uh, I'm giving the R8 a D, I'm being nice. Simply because the R8, for the money, like, it's a special limited edition vehicle. There are better vehicles out there. And overall, the R8 is just pretty slow. It, 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 you know what? 
I'm going to give the RA to C simply because it seats an extra person. That might be a big deal to some people, but yeah, this is this is the advantage of this t of the comment section. You guys can let you know your opinions down in the comment section below. Get 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 out of here, update. <laughs> Sorry for that. And yeah, I'm going to give the RA to C. Now the Roadster aka the overrated car. I'm probably I, there's a part of me that wants to put the overrated car as an in the F tier because it UFOs and it's super overrated and it sucks on road bumps and jailbreak. But for the price of $600,000, which is, it, it's expensive com com compared to the rest of the vehicles you can buy purchase in jailbreak, I gotta give the overrated car an A, a aka the Roadster. I, I don't know why I'm calling it overrated car. I just love to call it. It's a Discord emoji, so yeah. I'm gonna give the overrated car an A because for raw speed and raw acceleration and st handling and braking, it's really good. The only problem is, like I said, it's very low to the ground. It's it sucks against road bumps and it can UFO pretty easily. And that's what the the, the overrated car, aka the Roadster, is pretty known for. The Ferrari. Ferrari. This is a fun one. Okay, this recently this vehicle got revamped. I believe it got a little speed buff. I don't know if it got a speed buff, but it, it, it has an interior. It basically got refreshed. Basically, I think as much as I like the Ferrari as a car, there are better cars out there. So I gotta give the Ferrari a C. Out of all the supercars you can buy in the game, like it isn't horrible. Horrible. I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend like other vehicles. <laughs> we got the Black Hawk. Gotta give the Black Hawk S tier automatically. It seats a lot of people. I think 9, 10 if you count the person on a rope. You can carry a party. You can literally have a party in the Black Hawk. It's a pretty good aerial vehicle. It's got missiles, you name it. Basically the perfect vehicle in Jailbreak, pretty much. If the Blade was still in the game, uh, I would give the Blade Nest tier as well. If the Blade was still in the game, I believe they removed the Blade due to copyright reasons because everyone's getting refunded. So I believe the Blade is gone, but I guess because the Blade is on this list, we might as well rank it. Gotta give the Blade an S tier. It's basically the fastest aerial vehicle. It only seats two. But it's the fastest aerial vehicle. It's fun to toy around with. It hovers. I don't know if you can call it an aerial vehicle, a land vehicle. Technically, it's an aerial vehicle. But if you, if you want the fastest aerial in the game and you have a million bucks in jailbreak, there you go. The torpedo. I gotta give the torpedo S tier as well. The fastest vehicle in the game is technically the torpedo. Torpedo. If you got it before they removed it, it's a limited edition vehicle. And I believe this is what every limited edition vehicle at this price range should be. A special vehicle that's memorable and people can use. Fastest top speed. The brakes aren't the best. It's really good off-road, but overall, the if you want, if you want sure speed, if you want pure speed and for being a limited vehicle, you can't go wrong with the torpedo. Give that an S tier. Default heli. This is a tough one. For for a free vehicle, because the, the helicopter is free, by the way. I want to give it an S tier because it's a pretty fast vehicle for the money for like if you compare it to like the Camaro but I think I gotta give it an A simply because I believe the S the S tier is like reserved for like really good vehicles that are like that are really extraordinary the helicopter isn't very extraordinary but it's really good and it's still pretty useful especially when you're starting off in jailbreak the Raptor Aww. This is, oh, we were on a roll. We were getting so many highly ranked vehicles and now we get this Raptor. Okay, for a, a special limited edition vehicle, I I feel, I, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna give the Raptor, it seats six people, but it's pretty slow for the buddy. I'm giving the Raptor D, I'm being nice. It's It seats six people, I guess, and yeah. <laughs> okay, the bra car, I, I gotta give it an F, because, no, J JK, I'm not gonna give it an F. I'm actually gonna give it a C, because for a free vehicle in jailbreak, by the way, the Camaro is free, aka the bra car, it's free. You can't go wrong with the bra car. It, it's basically the average run-of-the-mill vehicle in jailbreak if you have no money. Nah, the Deja. Uh, I think as cool as the Deja is, I gotta give it an F. Simply because for the money, I believe the Deja is slower than the Camaro. Sure, it's pretty good off-road and it's got white smoke, but you can't mess with the fact that free vehicle is literally faster than a vehicle that costs $10,000. My gosh, this Simo Batsy, what are you thinking? Releasing a cool, trendy vehicle. A lot of people in Jailbreak are rich these days. They're, e they're easily going to forget about a vehicle like this, but they got to release it, so <laughs> uh, Deja gets an F. Now we're getting to the good vehicles. The Model 3. The Model 3 for $16,000. Pretty darn good for the money. It seats for the only, I wanted to give it an S tier because with the level five engine, the Model 3 can actually be pretty good. 
But I think I gotta give it an A tier simply because with the new redesign of the Model 3, it tends to topple over a bit more. You gotta press V a little more. It knocks it down from S tier, but still pretty good for the Model 3. Okay, at least the pickup truck, it goes about the same speed as the Camaro. I don't know if like about the weight, but for $9,000, it does seat four people, but I don't see any reason of in buying the pickup truck. Just no reason. It's it's pretty forgettable. I got to give it a D. The Mini Cooper. The Mini Cooper is a it's an interesting vehicle. It it got retired recently and for the for the money, there are better options. Uh, I I unfortunately have to give the Mini Cooper a D as well, simply because there are better vehicles out there. The, the Mini Cooper doesn't really stand out to be anything special, really. Uh, okay, this is this is gonna be even more interesting with the jet. It's 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 I don't know how I'm supposed to rate water vehicles, but honestly speaking, nobody really uses the jet. I don't see any need to use any water vehicles, especially when you got all the land vehicles, all the really fast land vehicles in the game. Technically, the jet ski for the money is really really fast. It can go about I think about the speed of the torpedo. But I gotta give the I I'm giving the jet ski an F. Simply because I don't see any need to use water vehicles in the game. But I guess if you want to do the jet ski race... Oh, the jet ski race is broken, so... <laughs> yeah, sorry, F. The jet ski gets an F. Now we're done with all the... the ah, uh, no, we still got some poorly rated vehicles. But I gotta... For the Lamborghini, I gotta give it... I'm giving it an S tier. When I was originally gonna give it an A tier, but I gotta give it an S simply because I buffed the Lamborghini. For $100,000, I'd recommend any player that has started jailbreak and has got the level 5 engine to get the Lamborghini next. It is amazing for the money. $100,000 gets you a supercar that goes really fast and can outperform some of the vehicles that you s that we haven't even looked at yet. And I got to I, I I can't I don't have anything bad to say for the Lamborghini. I can just lash praise for the Lamborghini all day. It's got convenient spawn locations if you don't have the mobile garage and okay, the Jeep. I'm actually going to give the Jeep a B because it doesn't spawn like I don't really see people drive around a Jeep typically, but on paper it is a free vehicle. It is slightly faster than the Camaro and it seats four people. The only downside is that the passengers for what I remember cannot shoot in the passenger seat, I believe. I don't know why they should be able to because it's an open top vehicle. For the money, the Jeep, not for the money because it's a free vehicle, but overall if literally zero bucks you get an extra two seats and go a little faster and maybe a little bit off off-road capability. I gotta give it a, uh, above average. That, that'll be great. I, I want to give this the Mustang a D simply because it isn't a complete flop, but I gotta give it an F simply because the Mustang, I would say like a little faster than the Camaro, uh, maybe about the same speed as the Wraith, but for $50,000, I don't really see the need to buy the Mustang more, which is probably why the vehicle got retired. <laughs> I gotta give it S tier simply because the fastest vehicle in the game. No, JK, I'm giving it an F. It's uncontrollable. I don't know if they're gonna retire this vehicle. I'm pretty sure they will simply because it's very uncon uncontrollable and difficult to drive, but I, I gotta give the Doom Buggy an F because you can't drive it. It is broken. It is like the most broken vehicle in the game, so I, got, I gotta give it an F. This is a little more interesting as well because it is uh, an aerial vehicle. The Little Bird, I, I, I really want to give it... Uh, I'm gonna give it... It's a slightly above average because... The Little Bird spawns in the middle of the city. You don't need to get like a key card or own the Black Hawk to own the Little Bird. I guess if you want to rob the cargo ship and you don't have a helicopter with you, I guess you can go to the top of the bank and grab the Little Bird and use that. So there's a use for that. The, the Little Bird is slightly faster than the helicopter. Like I wouldn't recommend it, but it's worthy of being beat here. The Molten M12. For $600,000, I gave the, the Roadster an A. I think I got to give the Molten M12 a little bit below the Roadster. They might buff the Molten M12, but no, the M12 Molten. Why am I saying it backwards? I believe this vehicle, for the money, it's a it's a special limited edition vehicle, but I believe if a vehicle's limited edition, it should have something special and unique. It does have a unique look, but it should have like something special, like it going faster than the Roadster. I, I, I really want it to have like something that the Roadster didn't have, but I guess the Molten M12, although it's not really good at road bumps either, it does UFO a little bit. It is better at road bumps and it's a special, it's got a cool look, but the Roadster overall is just, it's, it's faster. And even the Chiron's faster than the Molten M12. No, even the Lambo is faster than the Molten M12. So I'm going to knock it down to a C because of that. <laughs> okay, the Monster Truck. As much as a ripoff, 
the mon the monster truck is it does seat four people which is a plus no not four people it seats six people it's really good off-roading i'd recommend it if you're playing battle royale with your friends a lot of you guys are gonna disagree with me but i'm gonna put the monster truck on b tier for the million dollar vehicles it's kind of disappointing for it to not be s tier because mil million dollar vehicles are awesome they should be s tier we'll, we'll see about that but i believe the monster truck although i don't recommend buying it as your first million dollar vehicle it's a it's it's got it's it's got I, it's got its plus sides and you can climb on top of vehicles simply because it's like super high off the ground okay the og bugatti aka the veyron this vehicle is really special i really want to give it an s tier because they gave the chiron s tier but the chiron was the vehicle that replaced the veyron and it's pretty much better in every way sure the veyron has slightly higher top speed if i remember correctly i don't know how you're really gonna take advantage of that the Chiron's got better brakes. It, it's it, it's got a interior and basically I, I it's still a good score for the Veyron. I gotta give it an A. But if the Chiron didn't exist, I would give the Veyron an S. Okay, the patrol bike. I mean, I gave the dirt bike a D. I might as well give the patrol bike a C because it's basically the slightly better version of the dirt. I I'm, I gotta give the Porsche an F. It sucks on road bumps for seventy thousand dollars. When you look at a vehicle like the Challenger that costs less and is m a much better vehicle, I gotta give the the Porsche an F. There's no need to buy the porsche when the challenger exists or if you want a vehicle that's cheaper than the challenger like if you can't afford the challenger i don't know what's wrong with your mind if you can't afford the challenger but if you can't afford, afford the challenger at least get the model 3 just just don't just avoid the porsche i, I wouldn't recommend it at all unfortunately for the ray it, it's it's better the ray was released alongside the deja it's not as bad as the deja but i still got to give the ray a d for the money i i expect like a lot of people in jailbreak are getting richer and richer and there's not really a need for all these like budget super entry level cars like the ray and although it's decent the model 3 exists it seats more people and i believe the model 3 sh you should be going for the model 3 not the ray i gotta give the cybertruck s tier not because i'm i'm like in the whole tesla ba bandwagon i'm not i'm not even a fan of teslas to begin with but the cybertruck for the money you can sit seat six people that's something the monster truck does and it costs like a million bucks and you get it with the cybertruck and the cybertruck it's 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 pretty it's pretty decent for the money it's pretty it's reasonably fast for seventy five thousand dollars. sure the challenger is a little bit better but look the cybertruck seats six people and because of that i gotta give the cybertruck an s i gotta give the the jet a d for a million dollars i don't see the need in buying the jet let's say if, if you buy all the million dollar vehicles first you, you might as well buy the jet but it's really it, although it's really fast compared to like the black hawk it is faster than the black hawk it is significant it only seats one person it is significantly harder to control because you got you got to point the cursor everywhere with the helicopter you just hover which is so much easier to fly yeah that's why i'm basically giving the jet a d i'm not giving it an f because it's not a complete like useless vehicle that is completely garbage for the money but uh, if if you're good at flying the jet i mean you might rate it higher if you're good at flying a jet this new vehicle that costs uh no nobody can get this vehicle i believe the person who had a billion jailbreak cash has this vehicle honestly i can't rate this vehicle simply because i've never owned the vehicle personally so okay sloop automatic f <laughs> if i give the if i give the jet ski an f why why should why would the sloop be better look the sloop is wait wait if we had a garbage tier i would put the sloop in the garbage tier because for a million dollars uh the jet ski costs twenty five thousand dollars if you want a water vehicle just buy that the cruiser i gotta give that an f as well if i give the jet ski an f i gotta give all these air these water vehicles an f as well because that i don't even think you can customize this vehicle you know what i think i'm actually gonna give the cruiser a d I know you can't customize it, and the jet ski is better, but it does seat two people, and I guess if you're escaping mili the, you know, the jail if you get a lot of bounty, you can easily use this vehicle as a way to escape, so there's a use for this vehicle, a little bit, so I, I gotta give it a D. The, the stunt plane. I think this vehicle is the slow, technically the slowest vehicle in jailbreak, so I gotta give it an f the jet might be too fast for you to handle if you're not you, you don't like like the mouse cursor locking but for the money the no the stunt plane I, why am i calling it a jet it's a stunt plane don't don't buy it the helicopter's way better <laughs> uh the cirrus i uh, i'm actually gonna give the cirrus an s tier because 
for the money, this is basically a Lamborghini that costs a little bit more, but it seats four people. I know it loves to topple over since it's got a higher center of gravity. It's got it's got better, more off-roading capability, I guess, than the Lambo. But overall, basically Lamborghini with four seats, I'll, I'll give that an S tier. When the SUV existed in Jailbreak, for $50,000, it wasn't worth it. I wouldn't recommend buying it, but if you needed a vehicle to get you to the city, I guess the SUV would work. It did seat four people, and at its time, like, because the SUV got retired, at its time, I guess it was a decent vehicle to take your crew to the city and role play, I guess, and maybe be a soccer mom or something, so I guess I'll give it a C. I gotta give to see as well since i gave the suv a c the swap van the swap van is basically the suv in my opinion that has a minigun on top of it the swap game pass i would technically you know what? i think i might give the swap van a b because it has it's got the cool minigun on it i guess <laughs> fire truck you might be surprised no not surprised i'm giving the fire truck a d for a hundred seventy five thousand dollars really bad acceleration i guess it's fun if you want to troll people with the hose putting out fires is not a viable way to make money so overall i gotta i gotta give it a d oh, okay now the volt this is gonna get the volt bike this is gonna get really really controversial if the volt bike was not glitchy back when it came out i would give this vehicle a nest here because it was really cool you can zip through the alleyways of jailbreak zip between the parked cars and the jewelry store without worrying about a thing but i gotta give the volt bike an f simply because it's so broken like you touch even the road lines and the volt bike just flings around everywhere it's just an overall very broken vehicle i don't really see the need of buying the volt bike either it's just it's just a broken vehicle like the doom buggy like the doom buggy was never that good but it's it, it's it's gotten worse so I, I gotta give it an f and for the final vehicle that we're gonna rank today i have to i i don't want to i have to end this episode on a low note i hate doing that but i gotta give the mclaren aka meme claren an f for three hundred thousand dollars when he had the model three you get outsped by a Model 3? And you're a supercar? No. I I got no ifs, ands, or buts. I'm giving you an F tier. So I guess that wraps up the video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you agree or disagree with this list. Join the Discord linked in the description below. We will also do another video reacting to the Discord members tier list. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.